Hello and welcome. I'm Ruchi Bharani and in today's episode we're going to make masala khichdi. Every household has its own take and version of khichdi and this is mine. It's a very nutritious and healthy rice item. So let's take a look at the ingredients. I have here half a cup of moong dal, half a cup of rice, one tomato finely chopped, one onion finely chopped, coriander leaves, one cup of mixed vegetables. I've taken potatoes, green peas and french beans, two tablespoons of clarified butter or ghee, one teaspoon garlic paste, one teaspoon red chili powder 1/4 tsp turmeric powder 1 tsp garam masala half a tsp black salt salt to taste and for seasoning i have dry red chili two pieces of cloves and two pieces of cinnamon and 1 tsp cumin seed first mix moong dal and rice together with 2 cups of water and 1/4 tsp of haldi or turmeric powder and pressure cook it for 3 to 4 whistles if possible take a short grain of rice but if you have basmati you can use that also this is how it looks Let's heat up a tablespoon and a half of ghee. Once the ghee is nice and hot, I'm going to add cumin seeds, cinnamon and cloves, and my dry red chili. I'm just going to tear it into half. let this cook for a few seconds and now i'm going to add in my onions a little bit of coriander leaves for flavor i don't want my onions to turn brown just nicely cooked coriander leaves Next I'm going to throw in my chopped tomatoes And also with my tomatoes I'm going to add in my spices So it has enough time to cook I have garam masala red chili powder black salt i'm also going to add in the regular salt so that it helps the tomatoes and the onions to cook faster enough for the entire quantity of the khichdi my tomatoes have to turn nice and soft my tomatoes are nice and soft now and i'm going to add in the rice my pressure cooked rice and dal Khichdi doesn't have to be very very dry so i'm going to add in a little bit of water add enough water if you made it earlier because they tend to dry out it well and i'm also going to throw in my vegetables now boiled vegetables you can add any of the vegetables of your choice you can also add in some sprouts if you like so whatever you have in handy khichdi is very quick to make especially when you're not in the mood to cook something very elaborate it's a very satisfying and a very nutritious meal especially for the people who enjoy rice I'm going to add in a little more of water and let it simmer for 5 minutes. It should be nice and soft. And I'm going to cover it. My 
My khichdi has been simmering since five minutes and it's ready to plate. Nice and hot. I'm going to serve it with some roasted papad. The khichdi is not very spicy, so I'm going to serve it with a little bit of spicy mango pickle. Mango pickle and some coriander leaves to garnish. Khichdi can also be eaten with some plain curd or raita or even Gujarati curry. If you want to learn how to make Gujarati curry, click here. Hope you enjoyed this satisfying meal and don't forget to subscribe and comment. See you in the next episode. Bye bye. Hi guys, in this episode, I'm going to make makai ki khichdi that's made out of rice and corn. This is a nice twist from the boring regular khichdi that everyone is used to. I'm going to start with making the tadka. For that, I'm going to heat a tablespoon of ghee in a pressure cooker. Once the ghee is nice and hot, I'm going to add the whole spices, a piece of cinnamon, two cloves, two green cardamoms, a couple of bay leaves, a teaspoon of mustard seeds. These are round chilies. They are called boria chilies. If you don't have them, you can add a couple of any dried chilies that you have. Just stir the tempering. And now I'm going to add some half crushed corn. This is raw corn. All I've done is grind them in the mixi a little bit. Add it to the tempering. Just cook the corn for one minute. I'm also going to add some green peas. I'm going to add half a cup of rice that I've washed thoroughly. Mix all these ingredients properly. And now I'm going to add the seasoning ingredients. Half a teaspoon of ginger chilli paste, sugar, garam masala. It's a nice blend of all the dry spices. Just a little bit of turmeric. Some freshly grated coconut. If you have any, otherwise you can even avoid it. Just mix everything properly. Salt to taste. A little bit of coriander leaves. Now I'm going to add half a cup of milk and three fourth cup of water. Mix everything very well. That's it. It's as easy as it looks. I'm just going to cover it with the lid and cook it for three whistles on high flame. After three to four whistles, let the pressure cooker cool down completely before you open it. Let's just stir it lightly. Yeah, and the rice and everything is nicely cooked. The corn and the coconut is smelling so good. This is a very mildly flavored khichdi and you can add any vegetables of your choice. Enjoy it with some nice spicy pickle. This is a quick recipe for one of those days when you don't have enough time to cook. Do try it at home, comment below and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Bye bye. Hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've just walked into the house and I'm really, really tired. I don't know what to make for dinner. Any suggestions? No, 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 not at all. I think I'll have to go and check. Shall I talk to you later? Since I've figured out what to make, I'm going to walk you through the simple, easy method of making palak khichdi. So first, I'm going to just mix together yellow moong dal and I've already washed it. Some rice. Just a little bit of turmeric powder. 
just a little bit of salt water in a pressure cooker i've kept a little bit of water and a stand i'm going to cover this bowl and now i'm going to pressure cook the rice and the dal while the rice and the dal is pressure cooking i'm going to quickly make the palak puree for that i have some spinach leaves i'm just going to add them in the blender i'm also going to add a little bit of water let's check on this what a beautiful color so this is done the pressure cooker has cooled down completely and khichdi is nicely cooked and i'm going to get it out since all the prep work is done i'm going to start sorting all the other ingredients so i'm going to heat some ghee just a little bit right now once the ghee is nice and hot i'm going to add half the quantity of ginger and half the quantity of the garlic i'm going to save the remaining half because i want to make the tadka from top saute the two finely chopped onions saute the onions till they are nice and golden brown and now i'm going to add the tomatoes and also the finely chopped green chilies The tomatoes are nicely cooked and I'm going to add the spinach puree. I've pureed raw spinach. So I have to cook it for at least 6 to 7 minutes properly. And I'm also going to add the garam masala right now. Everything's cooked well and now it's time to add the rice and the dal. So my khichdi goes in now. mix it well This is way too dry right now so I need to add a lot of water So I'm just going to clean the blender bowl and add all this water in I'm also going to now season it with some salt and let it cook for at least 7 minutes The khichdi has reached the perfect consistency and now I'm going to bring it off the flame and make the tadka very quickly. I'm going to heat some ghee. Once the ghee is nice and hot, I'm going to add some cumin seeds, cinnamon pieces, couple of cloves, one dry red chili, a sapatida, the remaining ginger and the remaining garlic. be very very quick with this also a few curry leaves and a little bit of coriander leaves just for that extra flavor the tadka is done and now i'm going to mix it with the khichdi mix it after mixing the tadka just cover it for 5 minutes before serving and the khichdi is ready time to plate nice piping hot khichdi my quick fix meal is ready this is a very good option on a day you are very lazy to cook or tired or don't have the time to cook so do try this at home subscribe to the channel see you next time bye bye Welcome to Rachi Food. I'm Ruchi Bharani and in this episode we are making a very simple breakfast snack called the Sabudana Khichdi. In India, Sabudana Khichdi is also eaten during fast and Sabudana is also known as tapioca sago. Let's see what we have here. 1 tablespoon oil, 1 teaspoon jeera or cumin seeds, 6 to 7 curry leaves, 4 green chilies roughly chopped, 2 to 3 teaspoons of sugar, lemon juice, coriander leaves, 
थ्री फोर्थ कप ऑफ कोस्टली ग्राउंड रोस्टेड पीनट्स टू पटेटोज बॉइल्ड एंड चॉप्ड वन कप साबुदाना और टैपियो का सैगो फर्स्ट वील स्टार्ट विद सोकिंग द साबुदाना वॉश द साबुदाना थरली आई हैव ऑलरेडी वॉश दैम एंड टेक अ फ्लैट प्लेट टू सोक दैम साबुदाना कैन बी वेरी ट्रिकी सो बी केयरफुल ऑन द अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर दैट वी यूज स्प्रेड द साबुदाना इन योर प्लेट एंड स्प्रिंकल लिटल बिट ऑफ वॉटर just in the level of the sabudana not too much stir them in and spread them sabudana takes at least 6 to 7 hours of soaking time so make sure you leave them aside and if you feel they're drying out too much in the middle just sprinkle a little more water but be very careful with the amount of water that you add i already have pre soaked sabudana over here the first trick to make this recipe is to mix all the ingredients into the sabudana and not while cooking so let's do that 2 to 3 teaspoons of sugar as per your liking salt coriander leaves coarsely ground roasted peanuts and a generous squeeze of lemon juice very lightly mix all these ingredients with a spoon or with your hand try not to break the sabudana and this mixture is ready so let's start cooking heat 1 tablespoon of oil after the oil is nice and hot we'll add the cumin seeds curry leaves and green chili after a few seconds we'll add the chopped boiled potatoes let the potatoes cook for at least 1 or 2 minutes just a hint of brown color the potatoes are ready now i'm going to turn off the flame because we don't want too much of heat because overcooked sabudana are going to get very starchy and sticky and now i'm going to add this mixture and very quickly mix this in the hot pan and now i'm going to just cover this and let it cook and i'm also going to turn on the flame on just slow flame don't let this cook for more than 2 minutes if you want to serve this sabudana khichdi a little later turn off the flame mix all the ingredients and leave it and whenever you want to serve it reheat it cover it for 2 minutes and then serve hot let's check on them and it's ready I hope you enjoy this breakfast recipe and do comment below. Also don't forget to subscribe. Till next time, take care. Bye bye. When it comes to making something quick yet healthy and tasty, the best idea is to throw all the nutritional goodness into one pot. And the khichdi I'm making today fits that bill perfectly. First I'm going to start with making the tempering for the khichdi. So some oil or ghee, your choice. Next, I'm going to add all the dry spices. I have a dried red chili, bay leaf, few cinnamon sticks, few cloves, mustard seeds, some asafoetida. I have some roughly chopped vegetables over here. I'm using carrots, brinjal, cabbage. potatoes green peas and even pumpkin especially for pumpkin if you remove the skin it tends to get very mushy so leave the skin on it adds a nice flavor chopped vegetables green peas give it a nice stir And now it's time to add the rice and the dal. And now I'm going to add all the dry spices. I have some sambar masala here. Adds a very nice flavor. Coriander and cumin seed powder. Red chili powder. Just a dash of turmeric powder. Salt to taste. give it a stir good amount
amount of water. Make sure all the vegetables are nicely dipped in the water. The water has come to a boil and now I'm going to cover it. And I'm not going to put the vent valve. Instead of that, I'm just going to take a small steel bowl and cover the nozzle. Cook for 15 minutes and your khichdi will be ready to serve. After 15 minutes, turn off the flame and do not open the cooker for another 10 minutes. This is ready and now I'm going to open it. Check on this. Give it a light stir and let it be this consistency. Don't dry it out completely. And now this is ready to plate. Drizzle a little bit of ghee on top before serving. You can cook it with any vegetables that you have handy. Serve it with pickle, papad or yogurt. Do try this for dinner at home today and let me know how it turned out. Subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.